The world hates disciples. That's a whole thing. People have a bone to pick with Christianity. They're always at war with Christians for no other reason than the fact that they're born again in Christ. They tend to not even have a reason to afflict us just as. Christ said that they hated him without cause. And since no servant is greater than his master, they're also going to hate us without cause. But I was unsaved before I got saved, just as everybody who is saved was once upon a time lost. I do not remember from before the age of 26 and a half when I got saved, a single time where I actively participated in the mutiny against any Christian. I do not remember a time when I actively harassed a Christian for being Christian. I do not remember a time in my life before redemption where I was essentially abusing somebody because they loved Jesus. That is something that I only made an observation of ramping up pretty much ever since 2014, 15, 16. The human race has become especially tasteless against believers now in a way that historically was not the case. I don't remember a time where it is that people just dedicated their oomph, might, and general like whole body constitution to the destruction of Christians in families, people in your own family doing this to you, in friendship circles, in the office, colleagues doing strange stuff like this. I never under heaven made an observation of any such insanity against the body of Christians when I was growing up. Not from my own personal behavior against the body of Christ and certainly not from the behavior of those who were encircling me, fellow South Africans. I never saw this level of persecution against any Christians at all. They just merely walked around them on some, okay, whatever, that's some Zalwane. Nothing much really, especially considering South Africa calls itself a Christian nation. So when regular unbelievers who tended to just go through life ignoring Christians largely by omission, that's how it is that they hurt them, enter from, go from, graduate basically from omission, hurt by omission to hurt by commission. Do you not think that it's the last days? Perilous times arriving, people betraying one another, hating one another, and because of an increase in lawlessness, the love of many growing cold, like it's written in Matthew 24. When you are so incredibly, decidedly abusive against believers in a way that you never used to be, you have ushered in a brand spanking new era in the history of the human race. It's called the great apostasy, where people will not love sound doctrine. They will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons, and they will gather for themselves a great number of teachers to teach them what the itching ears want to hear. And in this caucus of insanity, persecute those who are truly on the narrow road that leads to life that few people find. When you are this intentionally abusive of Christians, you are literally at the door of the tribulation and therefore apocalypse.